Oh, I'll go, I was, I was uh, with a, a big wrestler, right? And I got an underhook, I'm trying to underhook, and I didn't have it penetrated very well. And the guy just jammed up under my elbows, almost ripped my arm off, you know, blasted my shoulder. So at the time, I just had to bail. I didn't want to tap, right? So he lifted me up on my toes, and I just came and hugged his head. I just fell down. Hmm. And this, I like to, whenever I finish, I always like to run through like a cross face, you know. And I like to keep finishing with a cross face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just to go off of that overhook and underhook, I used to have, and then literally I was, I was, this big guy who's taller than me, he just, gee, he like threw an uppercut. No, he was close. He went, boom. I was like, oh my God. And he, do it, he did it to me, and I could only think, I thought at the time, probably a lot of people do this, but I, got, I just came up, pumped him around the head, and he fell out. Yeah. And what I like to do is pull the ear, pull their head, drive the face down. Whenever I do a takedown and I want to get control, I try to really put a lot of pressure first, and then maybe slide through a cross face. It makes a big difference in maintaining control. Yeah, so this is simple. All I do is grab your hug and just spinning them down to the floor. Give it a shot. It's pretty easy. Did you put the finger in the air? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. I, thought okay, yeah. okay, okay. I like to like my finger in the air and I pull. And I don't drive forward. I suck their head underneath. If you drive forward, your weight goes out. If you suck their head underneath, you crush them without giving up your position. Thank you. The guy on the bottom can have an chance of rolling out with the heads being unscrewed. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, can you yeah. just do the, just do the throw, you know, and just. Uh... I don't know what angle you want. Yeah. <laughs> I just come up. Yeah. Usually, and, and you want your part. Don't hurt yourself. But I want you to feel the pressure. Like he's gonna start. It was almost like a bent arm. Like oh, he's raising up my toes. I just hold really close. I want to be around the head, not here. Around the head. So when I turn my shoulder, he's gonna go. Now just turn up. Yeah. And there's like I said, like, I pull the face or the ear. I just pull it underneath me and drive. This is miserable, by the way. And then like from here, you're like, what do you do from here? I usually try to keep the pressure on my chest and then slide through the face. Boy, Doc's a patient man. Good God. I step in the middle. And then I just twist. twist. And like, yep. So he jacks me up. Like, and I, I try to get close to you. Sometimes I'm going to go left. But this part's important. Like, you hop up in the neck. Fuck me back in the hole. Up and in, pull the neck in and drive. Then I usually switch to something like here. Or like this, if he lets go his arm, come up under here.